All right, quick review on the um, Phenom S4 sparring gloves, fresh out of the box. I'm not gonna lie, I ordered them basically come next day or two days, but that's because I ordered a groin guard as well. And uh, the nice chaps of Phenom, managed to just put them in both orders. But uh, first of all, we'll start off with the company Phenom. I don't know much about them, although I do know now they're English run up in Birmingham. Up in Birmingham, big at the prom, man. Big at the promies, them. But flipping, what I do know is a lot of the, what would I call them, the designer and manufacturers that work with major brands, such as, such as, not that I know, but I'm assuming Everlast, all them big brands like that. But um, it wasn't really getting their cr creative power and everything there at the, at the companies, which, yeah, I can relate. So they started off doing their own thing and now, yeah, Phenom, so they say, make top quality, affordable goods for the industry. But yeah, fresh out of the box, I'm not going to lie. I, I opted for the red. I'm doing this review as well because I couldn't find any reviews on this. There was just a one you. I'm, I'm one European brother. Big them up still, you get me? Because I'm not really a review man, but the man them said I should do it. So I'm going to do it. You get me? So yeah, straight off the box. Genuine leather. So it's beautiful. you got to analyse the stitching sometimes. I'll try to analyse it on camera. Yeah, there's a, there's a hook and loop strap system. I'll show you the stitching there. Because I brought some Everlast 1910s and I loved them, but the stitching was abysmal. So I had to take them back, hence on my second pair of gloves. I did do a review on them. Got the genuine leather print there. I do like that. I like that's a nice touch. Because I want my, I want mo mofos to know it's genuine leather. Not no mo not no mofo top grain. Genu you understand? So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Straight off the bat, looks beautiful. That's why I got these as well. This air vent here. I can't describe ever since I grew up as a kid, whenever I I've seen boxing gloves. They've had a, a stinky smell. So I, as a big man, fuck the stink in it. Man need ventilation. Some beautiful air holes in there as well. You see that in the thumb as well. Top quality leather. The stitching all around is is, is top quality. That's why I brought these. These, these gloves retail at about 80, 90 pounds. UK money because it's, it's a English thing. You get me? Because, and that's why I brought them. They're English. You get me? British. Good, good quality thing still. These are um, not pro fight gloves, obviously, but they're one up from about £30, £50 gloves. They're like halfway between amateur gloves and pro gloves. And when you can smash in the bags as hard as me, they got my BFG. Sometimes it's good to invest, you get me? But yeah, man. Overall, it's a good quality glove, fresh out of the box. No no, no stitching error. You get me? It's got a leather thumb, leather thumb attachment. I'm not a boxing expert, so I, you get me? I'm just a real guy. Just advising people for a genuine sparring glove. An overall training glove, but yeah, the fit I like this fit, yeah, because it doesn't have the elastic. At first, I was thinking, why wouldn't you have that? But when you when you wrap your hands pr properly with a nice thick chunk here, sorry, bicep shot, bicep shot, it's hard to get your hand in there. But this glove, it slides straight in. And once it's in there, look at that, straight in, nice hook hook system. See. And you don't need that. You don't, you don't need it. It's not relevant. If the glove's designed well, you don't need that. So why Everlast put that in there? I don't have a blood clot clue. It makes the glove harder to put on. And with that strap, put that on properly. It goes all day round. You can have it tight as you want because it goes all day round. That's pretty tight. I feel comfortable punching the bag with no wraps with that on. I'll be honest with you. Look at that. Not much flexion in the glove. I'll show you the flexion. But obviously, yeah, you can curl a bit. Yeah, that's the other way. There's not much flexion in the glove. So if you do fuck up a punch, you're not going to break your wrist. It's fresh out of the box, so the padding is rock hard. I would like to spar a bass that I don't like and hurt him. No, I'm joking, that's bad sportsmanship. Don't do that. That was, that was a bad joke. But yeah, I guess I'm going to have to loosen them up. But from what I gather, he's a good quality glove with good protection. Thumb's nice and tight. But yeah, I like him still. Good quality glove. 80 quid, they didn't break the bank. But with boxing gloves, if you go cheap, you get synthetic. And yeah, I've had a pair of synthetics. After a while, the leather just comes apart. So yeah, time to invest. I invested in a good leather cleaner, so when they get a bit dirty, I can clean it. But yeah, there's no cracking, no bunching. They feel comfortable here. I'll try on the other glove, might as well. Fuck it. <clears throat> I'm going to do another review after, after, I, after I've worn them in as well. So. There's one thing with you and then fresh out the box. Tags in that, tags in that. There's one thing with you and it fresh out of the box in comparison to actually using them. Because them Everlast 1910s are nice out of the box, but it was tight, horrible to put on. Nothing but bad things to say about Everlast, them, them 1910s. Maybe I got a bad glove, but yeah, you don't do them things, you don't do them things. 
quality is the same on this one. Good quality stitching, no blemishes. I have looked before and I'm not gonna lie. But as we sending these gloves right back, even by the you you gotta be careful when you get boxing gloves. Look at every bit of stitching because yeah, sometimes if the stitching's frayed, it's no good. It's a brand new glove you spent money on. There should be zero error in stitching, innit? Like, what happened to the good old grannies? You know, they stitch properly, you know what I mean? Get them in the buildings. Get rid of these flipping foreigners. I shouldn't be saying I get I get, I get cancelled Brexit, Brexit. But yeah, get the grannies in there, man. The grannies know what they're doing, man. You know what I mean? These young boys don't know what they're doing. But yeah. Comes nice, still. But you see what I'm saying? I'm a smasher, man. So, when I'm in there... But yeah, it got me feeling like Mike Tyson, I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful pair of gloves, lightweight. Can't wait to go training them. I'll let you know how they go. But yeah, for 85 quid, highly recommended. Phenom, great British brand. Represented by a couple of the mandem. Bigger Anthony Joshua. And when you got them on, it makes you makes you five times hencher. They didn't they didn't state that in the comments, but they did you get me. But yeah, big at the phenoms. Good quality pair of boxing gloves, genuine leather for the people that are serious. Just finished the gym. Ah, give you a little review on them straight off the bat. Obviously, they need wearing in because they're fucking rock solid. But yeah, I was just wearing them in really. Um, I'm gonna put a full video on YouTube of the workout wearing them in. Um, straight off the bat, it's, it's easy getting my my hands in there with the wraps on. But I noticed it's got I don't know what um fit the box calls it, but I can feel the you see the embroidery like the lever. I can feel it on the fingers. And I'm not going to lie, it's pretty uncomfortable. I don't think he's got it on the right one, but the left one, all of that, the bunching, you can feel it. And it's pretty uncomfortable. It's like you've got to feel the sweet spot. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's pretty... I'll give it a out of 10, comfortability 10 being the most, in the fingertips. i give it like a, a 4 or 5. It is pretty fucking annoying, I'm not going to lie. Because, yeah, it's fucking horrible, if I'll be honest with you. If that don't go away, that's horrible. For 80 quid, that's horrible. That's what I mean, his gloves look beautiful, but when you're using them, it's a different story, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, the right one's completely fine. So I think that might be a dodgy glove. The right one, there's no finger bunching whatsoever. You know what I mean? The right one's fine. The left one, bit of finger bunching, but... Hopefully it just needs wearing in. But, yeah, I'm not going to lie, though. They feel beautiful when you're tucking up. When you're tucking up, obviously, I didn't spar on one. But when you're tucking up tight, you feel like a prop, you're in a pro fight. Nice and tight. You can feel the lever feeling like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali in the 80s. It was feeling good. It was feeling good. You know what I mean? Throwing them one, two, they was coming clean with the hook, clean to the body. They got a nice, when you, when I was coming with the hooks, it's hitting the knuckle rather than the thumb. In terms of actual hitting the bag, it felt, it felt beautiful. It's just, yeah, the only thing I would say really is this slight uncomfortability in the fingertips. But other than that, easier to get on, easier to get off. Breathability. They're a bit moist even though I had my hand wraps on. But what I like to do, little little pro tip. You just open your gloves like that, yeah? Just always leave them out in the open. And spray that. Dettle anti-back. Just anything anti-back. If it's got a nice fragrance, that's a bonus. But yeah, I keep your gloves smelling nice for years. But yeah, once they're wearing in, I think they should be all right. But fuck me, I got I got a look. This is my mate's Pro Protex 3. They don't make these no more. Good little glove though. See the difference? So that's a pair of the wear it in full. This is genuine leather as well. See how wear that in, in that is? Crazy, right? In comparison to, there's no give. It, look, it, hard as I can, there's no give. So, yeah, fuck me. I think he needs a, a thousand punches. He's, I mean, I did go in a couple heavy punches and that, but yeah, there's no give. He needs to soften up. He's got a lot of padding he has, which I ain't complaining. But that's what I did notice when I took the glove off. It never happened with any other glove. Maybe the wrapper wasn't tight enough. Felt like I fucking I had a boxer fraction. I pushed my knuckle back. Horrible feeling, but yeah. About well, a ten after one day of using them, they got a wear in mine. I'll give them a solid seven. A solid seven. You know what I mean? Easy to put on, easy to put off. They look phenomenal. 
And when you got in the guard, they feel phenomenal. So 10 out of 10 for in the guard. 10 out of 10 for looks. Mm. S uh, 8 out of 10 for quality because the fingertips, you can feel it. But apart from that, though, the breathability, the level holes, the... <clears throat> it's nice. It's poppy. And it's a 16 ounce, but it feels like a 10. It's fucking beautiful. You hear that? Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Bow. But yeah, phenomenal glove. 80 quid. I, I don't know if there's much 80 other gloves for 80 quid out, out there. But I'll give a, a reasonable shout out to Juice Boxing. D-E-U-S. Juice Boxing. He does gloves for about a one -er. Of a similar style, wrap on, wrap off. I was going to get a pair of gloves from him, but he sold out of the red stock, and I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? I need that red. I'm a dolly Mike Tyson. I've got the red gloves. Oh, got the red wraps. You know how we go. You know how we go. I was going to get Everlast, but yeah, unfortunately, they've gone downhill since the manufacturer's gone to India, and they sold their rights to the English company. They should have kept it in the Bronx, you get me? But yeah, phenomenal little glove. When you're in the guard, I'll give it a 10 out of 10, because when you're in that guard, that feels fucking amazing. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, good little glove, good little glove. Just got to wear it in.